There are two types of WordPress hooks, actions and filters. In this video, we'll focus on filters, but check out the actions lesson for more information on action hooks. Filters allow you to modify or filter some data at a specific point, which will be used later on. In order to make use of a filter, you register a function in your code to a pre-existing filter hook, which is known as a callback function. To explain this, let's look at a filter called the content. This filter is defined in the WP includes post template.php file inside the function which is used in theme templates whenever the template needs to render any post or page content. Inside that function, we see this line of code. Here, the apply filters function defines the filter hook with the hook name of the content. You will notice that a content variable is passed as an argument of apply filters and that the value of apply filters is assigned back to a variable. In this case, again, the content variable. If we look a little higher in this function, the content variable is assigned from the value of the get the content function, which is a WordPress core function that retrieves the value of the post content field for the current post or page in the post table. So the apply filters function registers the filter hook, passes the value of content at this point in the code execution to any callback functions registered on this hook, and requires the updated value to be passed back. Register your callback function on a filter, you use the WordPress add filter function. You will need to pass the hook name and the name of your callback function as arguments to the add filter function. Let's take a look at what this looks like in a themes functions.php file. For this lesson, you're going to write some code inside your currently active theme. Please note that this is for demonstrative purposes only. Unless you are developing the theme yourself, it is not recommended to edit an existing themes files directly. In your code editor, navigate to your currently active themes functions.php file and open it. If your theme doesn't have a functions.php file, you can create one in the root of your theme directory. Just make sure it's named functions.php and has the opening PHP tag at the top of the file. Then add the following code to your functions.php file to hook the callback function into the, the content filter hook. Add filter, the content, and the callback function is wp learn amend content. Then create the callback function using the PHP function syntax and make sure it accepts the relevant argument from the filter. You don't have to name the argument the same as the variable name passed from the filter, but it does make it easier if you do. You also have to return the updated data. This is so that the original variable being updated from the apply filters call gets the updated data. For example, let's say you wanted to add something to the end of the content of each post. You could append it to the content variable like this. First, create an additional content variable and then append it to the content variable. In this example, you're adding some text in a paragraph block, which renders the bottom of each post on the front end. It's very important to always return something back from a filter hook, ideally the modified content of the variable passed to the filter. Not returning something will cause a fatal error on your WordPress site. Let's take a look at what this looks like in our WordPress site. If you view any post or page on the front end, you will see the text filtered through the content at the bottom of the content. So as you can see from this example, filter hooks allow you to modify certain pieces of data at a specific point in the code execution. 